Back in 2003, I wasn't collecting comics, but across the street from the bagel shop, there was a comic store I would occasionally check. And when I saw these Umberto Ramos Spider-Man issues, I just had to buy a few. I just loved how he used cartoony bodies, but then super detailed backgrounds and forced perspectives. Somehow it felt so unique to me, and those diagonal horizons really work to add drama. And now I see he's taken the graceful web slinging even further over the years. So let's go from his examples and sling some web. Quick analysis, underlying action structure is just like a, a curved line or a squiggle. So let's go from that and just keep adding body parts to those until something hits these two. Yeah, maybe. Start over. Yeah, maybe, maybe. This one, it's promise. So far, that's the best one, I think. Yeah, the neck. Ramos does that long neck, so maybe this one. Not sure about that back leg perspective, though. Add some more depth in the arm. And let's just keep playing with the legs. Yeah, this is cool. Okay, bingo. Start adding the anatomy. The Ramos style has that long head and his own way of doing the eyes. Quite a thin line for inking, I see. Okay, let's ink. I'm not gonna spend too much time on the coloring, just the two tone will do. Then onto the webs. It's been a while since I drew Spider Man, so I hope I remember how to do the webs. And this must have taken forever for like Todd McFarlane, who does even tighter webbing than this. Okay, a little background. And Ramos does really wild webbing in kind of light gray with white. Okay, one and two. Nice. I think Umberto Ramos maybe contorts the body a bit more and has more perspective. But yeah, it's a graceful pose. I like it. This was episode 89 in the 100 Artist Challenge. Check out this playlist to see which artists I've done. See you in the next one.